Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo, this is Minecraft Pocket Edition and welcome back today to a mini games video. Today for you we have something special, we're going to be playing the new released Minecraft Pocket Edition Crossy Road. Now if you do fully enjoy these mini games videos, be sure to thumbs up the video, it lets me know that you guys do fully enjoy these. Also, if you have any suggestions on mini games I should play for Minecraft Pocket Edition, leave a comment down below. So, if you've played Crossy Road before, you'll have an idea on what to expect. If you haven't, this is really fun. It has custom shops, it has custom scores, coins, and so much more. Also, I've been playing this for the past hour, and I'm awful, so hopefully you guys can tweet me your best scores. Tweet me how high and how far you can get in this game. So everything you need to know is, well, I'm gonna teach you right now. So let's change my field of view. Let's uh, teach you about this side. So this is like the, the Twitters of the people who developed the game. So full credit to people who absolutely made this because you guys did an awesome job. I really enjoy this and I'm hoping to see more. So you've got the map builders, the main developers, the main developers, the co-developers. Thanks for player. Don't you mean? Thanks for playing. So, over here we do in fact have the shop. It says step on the gold. Uh, but I'm not going to do this right now. I will have a little bit of a game and show you how it works. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Then we'll go into the shop and things that we can buy. So things you need to know is, well, you always spawn here and it's crossy road. So, we do need to go down here to start off this game. The only downside to this is when you fall down blocks, you take... It, it does like the damage effect, but you don't take damage. So, you guys can see that we take a little bit of damage. I'm not going to have anything in my hand. I went into creative and gave myself some food just so I wouldn't die at all. So, as soon as you go past this point, it comes up on your screen saying score zero, coin zero, and your steps. So how many steps you take playing this game. So you guys can see there's, there's one car going past and the levels get harder and harder. I keep getting stuck at one level, so hopefully you guys can get past it. So you need these coins. The more coins you have, the better things you can buy. So you can see that this is just going back and forth. So I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna make sure I grab as many coins as I can in this video. So. Let's go over here and let's grab this coin and let's hope that we don't die. So you can see they will continue to go past and they look awesome. The models look absolutely incredible, which it's just really fun to play games like this on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Minecraft Pocket Edition mini games are really fun to experience. Oh, this is a big, oh, this is like a train. <gasps> it crashed. It definitely crashed. All right, let's go. 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 All right. So these aren't too bad. This is just me teaching you about the game. So my score is four, my coins are seven. The score is how many you go by, by the way. So how many levels you go past. So if I do this one, it should be past level five. So as you guys can see. Now I keep getting stuck at this level. Now, I've done it once before, but as you guys can see here, the logs are moving. So you have to do this at the right time. So uh, we made it just, we made it just. Okay. Oh, hello there, cow friend. I wasn't expecting to see you here. Um, we found a friend, we made a friend. Oh, there's another cow. I mean, is this, am I meant to kill these guys or are they just like in the way? Oh, they disappear. There's cows everywhere. Why is there so many cows? I'm guessing the cows are the score. All right, well, this is where I keep getting stuck at this one because it's quite fast, this one. So you need to be really fast and make sure you just run. I'm going to die, aren't I? I made it. I made it. Oh, that's quite a big one. This is the furthest I've been. My first tutorial is the farthest I've been. All right, I wonder if I can make it to the end. Now, you can't jump, by the way, so there's no cheating in this. You cannot, you cannot jump. All right, I, I, I kind of... I, I kind of can't see them. There's another one. Come on, let's go. No, no. There we go. We did it. I somehow made it past that one. Okay, I made a lot of steps here. There's another one. Let's go. There we go. Where's all these coins gone? There? Where's all my... Oh, no. I'm gonna die. Oh, score 13. That's actually the highest I've done so far. I actually want to... I want to see if I can beat this game in today's video. But... Before I do that, let's go to the shop. Let me teach you everything about the shop. Now, be careful where you stand. If you stand really far back, then you end up glitching through the wall, so be very careful. So, we have potions to the right-hand side. We also have custom models, which is what I want to show you first off. So, if you have the pro version, you can buy the pro version to support developers. That is up to you. Let's do this. I'm going to switch to this one. As you guys can see, I'm currently Steve. Now, everyone is Steve, all right? So, this everyone is Steve. But, if you want to change your model, you can. So, if I want to be a skeleton, I can. If I wanted to be a zombie, I can, of course, Steve, and a creeper. So I think I'm gonna go as the creeper. I'm gonna go as the creeper because it looks really awesome. I'm also gonna try in this, this view as well. But trying this, oh, okay, then this makes sense. Ah, if you tap your speed button, you go a lot faster. <gasps> now it makes sense. All right, so if you just tap it, instead of you jumping, it's like you're hitting, ah. See, I'm learning now, I'm learning. I'm also losing my food, so I should probably start to eat a little bit of food here. I just don't wanna die, this is why I gave myself food. So, it's a lot of coins for fish, okay. Uh, you've got speed, 
You've got speed and you've got speed. All right, and so I don't think I have enough coins for this though. If I give myself, I don't think I have enough coins for these. So you need enough coins to, to unlock them, which I currently don't have. Um, and of course to go back, you just need to hit this one. And I think where I'm standing right now is like the end. You guys can see, oh, it's gonna be a hard game. I'm gonna give him my best shot though. All right, let's go. Let's try it in this view. So we did quite well. My score then was 13. So the aim, of course, is to always beat your score previously. So yeah, there's one. All right, let's see how fast we can get this, this done. That was a bad idea. Let's go. So you can sprint, but you have to be very careful. So the sprinting might help me on a little. Score two. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I, I I didn't look left or right. First thing when you're crossing roads is to always look both left and right, and then look again. So let's just make sure I don't do this this time. Okay, so I see you. I see you. All right, let's go off this one. Okay. Oh. I can actually get in the minecart. That's pretty cool. I don't think that's meant to happen, but because it's a mini game, then of course it's happening. And that one's slightly gone off the rails a little bit. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, there's another one. No. Score three. See what happens now. I did really well in the first game, and that was like a tutorial. You know what? I think it's this. All right, we're gonna be the creeper. We're gonna stick to the first person view because we seem to do a lot better when we do it in this view. So let's just let's try it this way. Let's go, Echo. Come on. We've got this. Come on, traffic. All right. I like the lock one though. The lock one's a really nice idea. I think it's fun. So currently I have 33 coins, so we're not doing too bad. So if I wanted to buy some speed potions, I probably could right now. Um, again, probably wait for the train to come past. Thank you, let's go. There we go. I'm on 35 coins. Come on, Echo, let's do this. Let's keep going. And there's the log one again. Okay, this is the one that I keep getting stuck at. And also there's a coin there as well, so don't miss the coins. <gasps> It's actually quite easy now if you do this. All right, I'm learning. I'm learning this. There's 38 coins. I wonder if anyone's actually got like the highest amount of coins in this. It's intense. 1,400 steps taken. So many more to take. Right, I'm gonna try the sprinting method now. I'm gonna try the sprinting method. Let's go. 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 I made it. I actually made it. I don't trust these big trains though. They're generally scary. Let's go. I'm making it. I made it through. Score 11. Right, did we make it past this one? I think we did. Let's go. Can we make it past all the way? Can we make it all the way? We did. We did. We did. We did. We did. <gasps> it's the last level and there's more logs. Uh-oh. This is going to be hard because getting through there is going to be extremely difficult. Wait, there's logs. There's logs. Let me jump. Let me jump. No. <laughs> I was right next to the end. And there's me falling to my death. So, 43 was the highest coins I got. 13 is my highest score. I think we definitely went past 13 there. So I'm going to say my score is 15. If you guys can beat it, feel free to treat me some pitches. Show me what you did get. And as always, if you want to see more mini games from me, be sure to thumbs up. The creators, you did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Take care. Stay beautiful. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.